when the weather started getting nice, we started thinking, we got to get out more. So tonight, that's what we're doing. Each of us is hitting the road in one way or another, but not straying very far from downtown St. Louis. So it's not just about what we see, but how we get to see it. Patrick Murphy tonight starts things off, and he'll come back throughout the show. On his excursion, he gets a little help from one of the most knowledgeable and one of the most talkative people in St. Louis. Wouldn't go anywhere in St. Louis without Here's Where, A Guide to Illustrious St. Louis by Mr. Charles Brennan. Charlie, this book has got everything in it. Tell me about the Tums factory. Well, no history book would be complete without a look at antacids. And uh, here you have actually, in, in terms of local significance, one of the last manufacturing sites in St. Louis. I think it is the last manufacturing site in downtown St. Louis. It's the second leading antacid in the world, and every single Tums tablet is manufactured here. That accounts for 2 billion tablets and 50 million bottles each and every year. Charlie, how do you know all this stuff and why do you care? Well, I don't know. I just like history. I mean, on this street, where we are right now, I mean, about two blocks south of here is where Ulysses Grant got married in 1848. Doesn't that mean something to you? It that does. a U.S. president got married on this very street? It does. Absolutely. It does. And Tom's. Well, yeah. I mean, it's a beautiful plant, and it happens to be convenient to the St. Louis Cardinals and manager Tony La Russa, who could use a few this year. It took $365 million to build. $365 million? Wow. It had, uh, mm. capacity to I decided to take in the sights of St. Louis myself. But I didn't do it by foot, car, or bicycle. I did it by Segway. This is the most fun I've had at the ballpark this year. <laughs> Segways are a self-balancing personal transportation device. These mobility machines have been used by security personnel, commuters, and for recreational purposes, such as tours of downtown St. Louis, which is what I used it for. The mayor's office is still on the second floor where it has been for over 100 years. Glide St. Louis began offering this unique view of downtown in April 2007. Thank you. Is that complicated? I mean, you probably have to go through a lot of red tape to get permits and all of that. Surprisingly, not really. Yeah, it was uh, people easy. were very receptive. Uh, we've uh, presented at the St. Louis Concierge Association with a lot of the hotels and their folks, mm -hmm. and they were very excited just to have another venue for you know, people visiting St. Louis to see the city. Okay. Experience to glide St. Louis? Well, it's not necessary. Here, here we go. Wait up, guys. Wait up for me. It's also a great way to meet new friends. Well, I mean, we're doing this together, right? Come on, let's go. All right, where are we going? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I'm not following you. Glide St. Louis operates out of the parking lot of the Marriott Courtyard near Union Station. And I, along with my new friends, Jerry, Norma, and Helen, went through Segway training before we got started. And unfortunately, safety comes before fashion. I think I can find a nice fellow wearing this hat. That man. How's that feel? It feels good. Okay, looks good. He looks good. You look marvelous. Get on. Put your hands on there. Okay, I'm going kind of fast. There was learning how to get off and on the Segway without incident. Starting. Stopping. Ha! <laughs> Ah, on a dime. We started out in the turtle mode, meaning our maximum speed was only about six miles per hour, which at first did seem fast. Do you having fun so far? So far, a lot of fun. I don't feel nervous about it. It's just kind of a, a neat... can't wait for my grandkids to see me on it, though. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't long before my new friends and I were ready to hit the streets. We headed down Market Street. Okay, we're gonna go in the street a little bit here. Oh Lord. Here comes a bus. As we glided past landmarks, we made even more friends along the way. Hey! And the more we glided, the faster I wanted to go. You guys feel comfortable? Yeah. Do we want to bump it up a notch? We do. We do. The top left button, there's a little turtle. Okay. Yeah. Press it once. The turtle icon's going to flash. 
and it's going to go away. It won't go away. All right. Oh, oh. And we try not to destroy everything. <laughs> <laughs> A slight touch is all it takes. <laughs> wow. Okay. Hey, I said I wanted to go faster. We're in fast mode. We now had the capability to go 12 miles per hour, and the change in speed was definitely obvious, but the operating principles were the same. To set the Segway in motion, you lean forward, and the force of your lean will control your speed. It's the same principle for going in reverse. Leaning backwards will put you in a backwards motion. Even with our faster speed, we still took in the sights of the city. I want you to notice when we pass by stuff, look at the architecture. When we're driving down the streets, you don't really get to pay attention to it. I even slowed down for the sights in the storefronts. I think it's cute. A little window shopping. After three hours, our guys? tour was over. Yeah. What are we doing tomorrow? But we all agree. <laughs> There's just something about riding around the city on a Segway.